United States Mega Projects Detail In this video, we'll look at the most expensive mega projects now being built in the United States, from a racetrack in the streets of Las Vegas to the tallest sky deck in the Western Hemisphere. Let's start with number 10, Las Vegas Grand Prix, $500 million. The Grand Prix will return to Las Vegas, Nevada in November 2023 after a 40-year absence. A track was constructed in the parking lot of the Caesars Palace Hotel during the previous time the city hosted the event. This time, they're going for a far bolder strategy, a magnificent circuit that sends the racers blasting through the vibrant lights of hotels, casinos, and the famous Bellagio Fountain on Las Vegas' famed Strip. Old and uneven Las Vegas roads are not suited for high-speed racing. These roads will require complete resurfacing in the upcoming months. Additionally, the city is funding a paddock, pit stops, and other crucial amenities. The project is anticipated to cost around $500 million in total, but it's anticipated that the race will make money. General admission tickets start at $2,000, and a variety of packages including a million-dollar all-access experience are also offered. This ticket offers a track tour, VIP access to the pits, and a ride in an actual F1 vehicle. Even the most costly ticket available is not that one. A $5 million Emperor's package that includes five nights in the Nobu Sky Villa, a private chef, and of course, a race ticket is being offered by the Kaiser's Palace Hotel. Therefore, Incogni can assist you in protecting your privacy if you're weary of receiving spam calls and emails as a result of your information being sold. If you're interested, Incogni will be 20% cheaper for the first 100 customers who use the promo code TEOPLUGJURAI at the website below. Number 9. Brent Spence Bridge $1.6 billion Ohio and Kentucky were joined by a bridge completed in 1963 that spans the broad Ohio River. The approximate cost was $10 million, or roughly $70 million in today's currency. The bridge featured two decks, with traffic going to Ohio from the bottom deck and Kentucky from the top deck. However, there is an issue. The Brent Spence Bridge was developed with a daily capacity of 100,000 vehicles in mind. However, since then, population growth rates and overall traffic have skyrocketed. The bridge has carried more than twice as many vehicles as it should have in recent years, and this could have potentially hazardous effects. When the Brent Spence Bridge partially collapsed in 2011, a piece of concrete fell onto a car. According to the regional authorities, the bridge is routinely inspected and structurally sound, and the collapse was not caused by an increase in traffic. However, they do have other concerns such as traffic jams and general delays on the congested roads. Because of this, a $1.6 billion federal plan to construct a second bridge has been approved. Number 8. MSG Sphere, $2 billion Back in Las Vegas, the developer of Madison Square Garden is constructing a cutting-edge entertainment complex that will be unlike anything the world has ever seen. The largest LED screen in the universe will be installed inside the MSG Sphere, looping around the spherical walls to totally enclose the spectators. There will be four defects that go along with the screen, such as odors, wind, and seat vibrations. It is next-level entertainment that is wholly immersive. The sphere's outside will be stunning as well thanks to its shell of programmable lighting. The sphere might be transformed into a massive pumpkin in the fall or a massive snow globe in the winter depending on the lighting. In addition to all of this, the MSG sphere will surpass the Avicii Arena in Stockholm as the largest spherical structure in the world. Construction delayed the 2021 opening of the $2 billion facility. Number 7. Gordie Howe International Bridge $4.5 billion The next building on the list is the most ambitious one so far. It will be the longest cable state bridge in North America linking Canada and the United States. It will be 2.5 kilometers long, have six traffic lanes, and cost about $4.5 billion in total. That amount is about three times as expensive as the Brent Spence Bridge project or more than twice as much as the MSG Sphere, to put it in perspective. The transportation of many hundred snakes is one unexpected expense included in this overall expenditure. The local species, the Butler's Garter, will have its habitat destroyed by the new bridge. Before building could begin, the snakes had to be securely moved to a different habitat in accordance with Canadian environmental standards. In 2024, the bridge is anticipated to open. Number 6. Amazon HQ2, $5 billion The second largest firm in the world has a new corporate headquarters in Arlington, Virginia called HQ2. As earnings increase, they want to quadruple the size of their pricey headquarters in Seattle, Washington. HQ2 will have 50,000 employees when it is built, which makes it larger than HQ1, which has 40,000 employees right now. A corporation whose first headquarters with a garage in Jeff Bezos' home has experienced a stratospheric growth. Cities were actually encouraged to submit bids to host Amazon's future headquarters. Number 5. 
Project Connect Texas, $10.3 billion. Project Connect will be a groundbreaking improvement to public transportation in Austin, Texas, costing more than twice as much as Amazon HQ2. Two light rail lines, three new bus lines, a transit tunnel under downtown Austin, new park and ride services, and a comprehensive renovation of all other city-owned transportation systems are all part of the proposal. Project Connect aims to accomplish some environmental objectives in addition to making life easier for Austin residents. Their goal is to have an entirely electric bus and rail fleet that produces no emissions at all. Number 4. Chicago O'Hare Airport Improvements $12.1 billion initially, Chicago O'Hare was a military airfield that served primarily as a source of fresh aircraft for the Korean War. However, it began accepting commercial aircraft in 1955 and expanded to become one of the biggest airports in the world. The eight runways at Chicago's airport are the most of any airport. There are 214 non-stop flights to locations all over the world, more than any other airport. There aren't quite enough facilities and terminals to accommodate the 50 million travelers who utilize the airport annually. Because of this, they made the decision to implement a cutting-edge makeover, enlarging two airport terminals and increasing the number of gates. Beginning in 2026, work will begin and during that time, the airport will continue to be open and accessible to both travelers and construction employees. Number 3. Hudson Yards $25 billion In Manhattan, New York, there is a huge urban development project called Hudson Yards. It began with a massive platform that was specifically constructed to sit atop a train storage yard. The platform was then outfitted with incredible amenities that completely transformed the region, including offices, residences, galleries, hotels, parks and groves, stores and restaurants, as well as the highest ice rink in New York. There is still a lot of work to be done, which is scheduled to begin in 2023, even though part of the site is now accessible to the public. The second phase of the project will see an increase in the number of structures, including hotels, high-rises, offices, and schools. Number 2. Texas Seawall – $31 billion The Ike Dyke is another name for the Texas Seawall. Storms moving in from the Gulf of Mexico have always been a threat to Galveston Bay in southeast Texas. The Great Galveston Hurricane, which occurred in 1900, was the deadliest natural disaster in U.S. history, with 8,000 fatalities. In order to prevent a repeat of the calamity, the Galveston Seawall was built two years later. More than 100 people were killed and $38 billion worth of damage was done by the waves. The Army Corps of Engineers developed a plan for a new and upgraded seawall in 2018, which is anticipated to perform better than the existing model. The two surge gates, each measuring 200 meters, will be the project's main element. These gates will be open for the most of the year, allowing a natural flow of water into and out of the bay, but when a storm approaches, the gates will suddenly close containing the waves. The new sea wall could end up costing anywhere around $31 billion in all. Number 1. Sound Transit 3 – $53 billion Sound Transit 3 is at the top of the list and is almost twice as expensive as the Texas seawall. Seattle Washington's new transportation system is intended to solve the chronic congestion that has plagued the city for so long. Between 2010 and 2015, the region's congestion increased dramatically by a staggering 95%. Everything boils down to population growth. According to experts, the area will see an additional 800,000 residents over the next 20 years, all from the 50,000 who moved there last year. More people equates to more vehicles and more vehicles equate to greater traffic. In 2022, the majority of commuters in Seattle spent more than 50 hours per year stuck in traffic, which is equivalent to two full days. The project is anticipated to begin construction between 2024 and 2041, gradually easing the problem before it gets out of hand due to overcrowding. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.